Hey, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Pisces. What's up, Pisces? What's good with your sexy ass? What's up, Pisces? Come on in, my loves. Welcome. This is your love reading for the month of July. Okay, we're going to check in and see where your emotions, feelings, thoughts are in regards to this particular relationship, this person that you are exchanging your energy to, Pisces and Jay. So let's get on the edge of our seats and let's see what messages Spirit has for my sexy ass Pisces for the month of July. Okay. As I stated in the community tabs, I have some new oracle cards here for the messages here. And this is the spirit animal oracle cards, okay? So we're going to see what messages and how it ties in for your July reading as well. We're going to step into nature a little bit and see what the divine has to say and what characteristics or you needing to or needing to take a reflect on in regards to love. Okay, so let's see, let's see what messages do we have for Pisces, for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. And also, cross watchers, you are welcome as well. There is a message for everyone, okay? So let's see here, see what messages do we have for Pisces? What messages do we have for Pisces for the month of July? All right. We have the cat spirit. Well, well, well. Some of you all may have a cat, okay? Or some of you all are having or needing the characteristics, personality traits here or understanding or perspective of a cat spirit okay you get it i know some of you all may not be in too fantastic with cats and some of you all may be very lovable to cats and again may have several of them okay piscians i wouldn't be surprised or shocked if you wouldn't okay i myself have a cat okay but however some of y'all the cat spirit here um, it was being very significant here for you for the month of July. Some of you all may need to tend to your cats more or tend to your animals if you have animals and or a animal lover. Okay, clearly I am, right? So the message here from the cat spirit for you, Pisces, for the month of July, five on the clock here, is claim your independence. Wow. Claim your independence, Pisces, okay? So let that sink in and resonate with who it needed to resonate with. Claim your independence, okay? Beautiful. The number 13 that breaks down to the number 4, okay? 4 could be significant for someone. The number 13 could be significant for you, okay? So we're going to see how Cat Spirit uh, has a message here for you and how it ties into your reading. We're going to pull out some tarot cards now, Pisces, okay, and stick around and then we will read the messages for the cat spirit from the book for story time. Yay! All right, Pisces, let's see what we have here. Let's see what messages spirit has for you for the month of July. Wow, what damn! I didn't even get time to shuffle yet. Well, well, well. Well, I say, let's get a close-up here, Pisces, because obviously, obviously, somebody got something to say. Huh? This is what we're going to talk about today. This is what the main topic in meat potatoes is, 2-2, two, two, on the clock for the month of July. Now, the Ten of Cups energy here. Some of y'all are being very much in your Ten of Cups, happy, peace, joyful, cupcakes, and rainbow energy right now. Wow, so some of y'all are definitely exchanging your energies, being around someone that you see as your Ten of Cups, as your wish fulfillment, being in that soulmate or finding your soulmate, okay? Being in a connection now spiritually, right? Some of y'all may have kids in regards to this connection with this particular person, 
okay or some of you all again just having it all right the big beautiful rainbow and the white picket fence okay or some energies here reminiscing from your past with the ten of cups we gonna get into it we gonna see what it's all about pisces okay we gonna check it out so let's see what else is here thank you for the messages clarify look y'all already clarify wait let me get some more cards out hold on pisces let's get some more cards out here first dang what are the messages, Spirit, before we clarify the Ten of Cups for AKA Pisces? Because they are already ready to know. Look, y'all are already in your cat spirit. Very intuitive. Yes, you are Pisces. You know you are. You're very intuitive. Is why you can't be around too many places, people, and things. You got to stay to yourself. Because when your ass step out the nose, you immediately see fuckery. I understand. Understand what are the messages here? Do we have the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, South, and North Node? All right, we have the Two of Pentacles jumped out here, Earth energy. Some of you all could have energies around a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo in here, okay? But we know the Two of Pentacles is in regards to you know, this has to do with arranging, right? Balancing. Balancing um, your finances, balancing things that are tangible to you, balancing things within your finances, right? Making sure everything is up, up float, right? Making sure everything is balancing out within your household, right? Within this particular person or this person that you're in this Ten of Cups energy with and trying to balance your life, trying to balance your relationships. Some of you are trying to balance just being a mother, a wife, a father, a husband, a cousin, a sister, a brother. Hell your damn self, okay? Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages we have for Pisces? One more card here for Pisces future energy here. And if the reading is resonating, my love, don't forget to like, subscribe, my loves. If it's resonating, show spirit some support. Hit that big fat thumbs up. And also hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified, Pisces, when your message and your readings come out. Okay. Now, last card we have here is the hang one. Okay. Now, this card normally is literally hung upside down. But what I am noticing here, this is your energy, my loves, Pisces energy, okay? So, the card is, however, in reverse, as you see, okay? So, that tells me that um, some of you all, Pisces, just being honest here, may be a little bit out of your element, okay? Because when the card is in upright, she's hung upside down, right? You've gotten some spiritual enlightenment. You've gotten some information, right? You've been able to reflect, right uh you know you've come to this halfway point in your life when you're at this point with the hang one right you've understood you understood things from a lower and a higher perspective and understanding which way and now the path you can go but when however it's in reverse there's no enlightenment you're not being able to see the picture for a bigger picture you're not able to get a bigger idea of what's going on around you i'm hearing okay which makes sense with the car being upright okay or in reverse this means that you're not getting the enlightenment you're not understanding or some of you are man not allowing yourself to understand this experience the experiences in your life in your relationship in this situation right when the card is being reversed right you're not allowing yourself for some of you all to Go through this spiritual enlightenment. Go in doing the research. Stopping and smelling the roses, right? I'm hearing as well. Wow, that may be significant for someone. So simply just not being in that cat spirit and allowing yourself to become, allowing yourself to claim your independence, right? Allowing yourself to be free, right? Some of you all could be holding back. Or again, because this card came out in reverse, you're not in your own element of your card. This is the Pisces energy card here, the hang one, okay? You're not allowing the, um, some of y'all, the situation to be looked at, okay? So let's see, let's see what that is all about, Pisces, okay? 
Clarify the Ten of Cups here. Why do we have the Ten of Cups for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why do we have the Ten of Cups here? Wow. We have another card that jumped out here. Yes, Spirit is in the building. Beloved is here. There is definitely something that I feel like, um, and you all are very intuitive, so I know this is something that you may be all um, aware of, okay? But uh, when the judgment card comes out here for me, this is definitely in regards to this particular person. Some of you all, this is someone you have shared a family with here, okay? And um, there is something that needs your attention here. So let's get some more enlightenment here in regards to the Ten of Cups and the judgment here. Let's see exactly what this is, okay? All right, thank you, Spirit. What are the messages here? Give me more details in regards to the judgment. Why is the judgment card here for the Ten of Cups? Why is the judgment card here, Spirit, for the Ten of Cups? Why do we have a judgment here for Pisces in the Ten of Cups? The Temperance, Sagittarius energy here, needing balance, okay? We know that Temperance is all about having balance, again, which makes sense because behind here we have the Two of Pentacles, okay? So some of you are trying to just simply maintain, balance your life, balance your love life, right? With the Ten of Cups here, balance your relationship for some of you all, balance your marriage for some of you all, right? Trying to, you know, balance your love life and balance your material, material, your finances, right? Not wanting to make sure that things are having to be juggling and struggling all over the place. And when Spirit is saying here, these are two major arcana cards here, okay? Um, for me, anyways, because we have the wings. These are angels, okay? This is arch. Angel, this is Archangel Michael, right? So for me, wow, and my alarm clock went off. That may be significant for someone as well. This is definitely a wake up call, and I'm feeling okay with my alarm literally going off during your reading, Pisces. This tells me that uh, your higher self, your spirit guides, okay, has been trying to reach out, get your attention, rather if it's through you or your person that you are engaging here with, with the Ten of Cups, okay? But knowing and stating here that there needs to be some balance between you two. There needs to be spiritually balanced, mentally balanced with the triangle here. There's three parts. Wow, and it's crazy. Pay attention to the synchronicities here with the emeralds here, okay, and the color purple. And notice that this is as well a triangle needing to balance, which is crazy because I'm actually a Sagittarius as well. Look, take these synchronicities where they come in, okay? You're getting spiritual advice here from a Sagittarius sun sign, okay? Here's a temperance card. Some of y'all may know of a Sagittarius, dating a Sagittarius, or is getting enlightenment from a Sagittarius, or you simply clicked on this video here, okay? But anyway, let's focus. What Spirit is pointing out to me, my loves, is that showing these two angels here, right? This is confirmation twice for you all with the triangle shapes as well that there's definitely been... Uh, spiritual where war for of what what spirit there is definitely going oh spirit is saying there is a spiritual war that you are battling wow wow that makes sense pisces because we have the hang one in reverse we have your energy again the card come out in reverse and we know the hang one is meaning in general going through a spiritual awakening so somewhere between the lines here, there is a spiritual awakening that's occurring, that's happening for some of you all, and that has happened already for most of you all, okay? But to say that with the judgment and the temperance here, okay, in regards to this relationship, as I mentioned for you all, and for some of you all that are married, okay, this relationship, this marriage needs to be reviewed. It needs to be reflected. It needs to have balance. It needs to be patient, okay? We know the temperance represents patience, okay? So this relationship needs to be balanced because it's currently with the two of 
pentacles here it's off balance for some of you all you may have struggled with this particular person in your relationship and this marriage or just this family overall right and needing to understand that you know having to balance because you see how she has to balance herself and have one foot in the water and one foot on the ground right needing to go through this healing process some of you all are needing to heal um and because of that it can cause things to got off balance and to cause a struggle for some of you all a struggle for this marriage a struggle for this relationship a struggle with these loved ones okay just take it wherever it is on your timeline and it caused you however here to be out of your element okay Wow, and Spirit is not giving me as much as I am asking for, Pisces. So I feel like, again, this is something very internal or definitely personal for you, okay? And so that tells me that you are already aware of what particular um, this message is in referencing to, okay? Definitely, again, with the Cat Spirit here. Cat Spirit is very intuitive. They already know. They know you before you make it to the dough, okay? Or who they are dealing with. So be mindful and claim your independence, okay? Claim your independence. So Spirit is saying you may need to claim your independence in regards to this relationship, this marriage, this partnership. It needs to be balanced. There needs to be balance. There needs to be patient with this person, with this relationship. All right, thank you. Well, Give me one more card here. Again, judgment and temperance. More details here, please. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more out of it. If not, that's when I know it's not meant for you to know at this time or it's definitely not meant for me to understand it. Okay? So let's see. What else, Pisces? What's going on here? Why do we have the judgment, temperance, and the ten of cups here? What is this? I understand the ten of cups and judgment, but why do we have the temperance here? What is it that needed to be balanced here with Piscean? Hmm, here is your energy, my loves. Water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancerian, okay? We know the Page of Cups for me is message, okay? So this is in regards to communication, okay? For some of y'all, telepathically communicating, right? Also communicating with your guides, communicating with your higher self. Because we think about it, we have two cards here with angels, okay? Some of y'all... Look, we ain't gonna act like you're not because you, you, wherever you have placements of Pisces in your chart, in your dream space, you're getting these downloads as well. This is a lot of intuitive cards here, okay? So you're very aware of the situation, you're very aware of this person, you're very aware of this individual here, and how things have been able, have been able, okay? Okay, I'm hearing have been able, have been able to change, okay? So some of you all. You are aware of this situation and how, I heard again, able to change. So some of y'all may not believe that this situation may not be able to change, okay? Or again, there is communication here, however, okay, with the Page of Cups here or definitely uh, telepathic communicating here. And again, I definitely feel that you are aware of this Okay, you're aware of this particular person. Again, this could definitely, I'm um, feeling a significant one that you are currently in a relationship with or in the past was in a relationship with. Again, here and some of y'all could have kids by this person or this person could have had kids, okay? But there was definitely a bond between you two and there is some communication that's going to be had or needing to be had because there is definitely angels here that are clearly the divine working behind doors, working telepathically here, trying to get attention, trying to adjust, trying to put things in order for some of you all, this particular person. Okay, and again, I want to now know because of that, Pisces, why is this card in reverse? Why are you out of your element? Let's clarify. Let's clarify finishing here the two of pentacles before we get to the main one in reverse. Why do we have the two of pentacles here, Spirit? Why is the two of pentacles here for Pisces? In Why do we have the two of pentacles here? Wow, the four of wands. 
Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy, okay? But we know this is, again, definitely in regards to a relationship here, a committed relationship. We know the Four of Wands is coming into a union, okay? Uh, coming into a partnership. So, again, this is definitely in regards to a person, a relationship. And I'm going to say that because, again, clarifying the Two of Pentacles, this is a relationship that you are trying to juggle, okay? You're trying to have to balance. You're trying to balance your relationship. You're trying to balance your normal life. You're trying to balance what it is that you do every day. I feel like some of you all, and because of this relationship that you have experienced and exchanged your energies with, it has caused you to be off balance. It may have caused your finances to be off balance with the pentacles here because we know the pentacles referencing to earth materialistics okay with the two of pentacles right and some of you all um it could have caused a burden financially towards your relationship and trying to balance your relationship trying to balance your marriage okay all right thank you spirit let's clarify now let's move forward and clarify the hang one in reverse why do we have the hang one in reverse here for pisces why do we have the hang one in reverse here for Pisces? Again, my loves, if the reading is clarifying, if you're getting to understand, okay, if it's sitting with your spirit, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, my loves, and check back in with your rising as well as your moon sign to see on a level of your emotions with the moon sign and also how other people externally with your rising sign are feeling towards you that's how you check in with your rising sign i do post all 12 zodiac signs listed as well my loves okay thank you spirit why do we have piscean my sexy ass piscean in reverse here why are they seeming to be out of their element why what is caused or causing Pisces to be out of their element at this time. Wow. And look, we have the Ace of Swords here that comes out, literally jumped out on the floor in reverse, okay? So both cards here coming out in reverse. That tells me, my loves, not only are this relationship, okay, that you are here um, processing and wanting to balance, trying to balance here that cause you to be out of your element. And this is here moving forward in the future because as I always read or as a reader, I focus this more being your past, your present, current energy, and this being your future here, okay? And then for me, with whatever this situation that's going on here with, because we have the Ten of Cups here that needs to be recognized, communication because i definitely feel like you two are not in communication with the page of cups here you two are telepathically speaking with each other listening to each other feelings and thoughts and music listen to each other seeing each other through social media websites whatever you two decide to post but as far as person to person person to person excuse me or face to face that's not going on right now and that's why i feel like spirit beloved has stepped into uh, request that that happens okay or needing to happen here with the judgment card for me or there needs to be a reflection we know the judgment card come out something needs to be revised and looked over okay something needs patience something needs to be balanced okay something needs to be looked at and it's in regards to your person this person that you're in a relationship with this person that you have love with okay or love towards with the cups up here okay and because of that it's caused you to be off balance it's caused this relationship to be off balance even if this is something that this person particularly did if your boyfriend girlfriend your spouse your husband your wife if they've done something that you don't agree with or you're not happy with and you're not communicating this with because you're doing the best thing that you know how to do pisces because this is your energy and that's telepathic communicating with them. And not everybody that's not intuitive or telepathically ain't going to know how to communicate like that just yet. Okay? So I'm just saying. And some of you all, you may not be um, with the hangman being in reverse or not finding yourself now um, spiritually connected with this person. Or finding out that you're not 
spiritually connected with this person, okay, who you've been in a relationship with here for some of you all, 10 months, 10 years, hell, 10 days, I'm just kidding, but I'm just saying, right, because you're not able to be in a place where you're wanting to speak your truth, right? Uh, because the Ace of Swords in reverse is, you know, getting clarity, receiving clarity, getting understanding, having a new experience of getting that perspective of life and what transpired here. But when these both cards are in reverse, okay, the spiritual awakening is being blocked, I'm hearing, okay? getting the answers and understanding due to this person is being blocked okay and that's simply because you're not being yourself and i'm just going to keep it a buck 50 sometimes these readings are cupcake and rainbows and sometimes the truth it may hurt but it will also set you free pisces okay for whoever this is resonate and if it's not resonating for you it could be vice versa it could be the person that you're around okay right i'm just the messenger i love you Okay, this is still tough love. Love is love, okay? Now, back to the energies, okay? The Ace of Swords here. So this is in regards to, again, not seeing, not understanding, not getting the clarity, and not being able to move forward because some of you all, because of, you know, everything not being balanced or imbalanced here in the relationship has caused a step back between you two and miscommunication and for some of y'all not as much communication is why we have the page of cups here because there are some emotions and feelings that are wanting to be expressed between you two i feel like it's just not being spoken of it's not being reflected on with the angels here as it should okay and so honestly in the future if not that is what can cause you again to be out of your element or the truth to not be said and it could be and cause a delay my loves in the relationship so you do not want that to be caused pisces okay so be mindful of that okay so my loves that has completed overall the messages in regards to your reading for the month of july Okay, thank you again for sticking around that long. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Any information you would like to know about the reading is down below in the description box. Now, continuing on to the ones that have stuck around and would like to know the messages from the cat spirit here. Okay, I am going to read the card here to see how it all ties in to your readings. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, my love, for your love and support. I love you so much. I appreciate you. And again, keep up with the community tab. I do post there for your readings, my love. And also daily enlightenment. I do post and do the short videos to pull a card daily to get enlightenment there as well. Or just to see where your energies currently are at with you and your person. And check me out for doing live readings. I do post in the community tabs when I do go live on YouTube, okay? All right, spirit, thank you. Let's see. Number 13, that breaks down to a four. We know four references to stability, foundations, okay? That may be significant, again, for someone. The cat spirit. Claim your independence, Pisces. Claim your independence. Beautiful artwork here. Beautiful. All right, so as I read the details for the card here pay attention to any synchronicities or anything that points out to you Pisces okay all right number 13 cat spirit claim your independence oracle message when cat spirit meows all oh, when cat spirit meows she is calling you to claim your independence oh if you hear your cat if some of y'all have a cat or a dog or a pet if you hear your cat try to speak and communicate, listen, okay? She is calling you to claim your independence, Pisces, and allow for some space between you and others in your life. The only way you can grow in all your relationships now, Pisces, is to have a healthy sense of self-respect and self-worth. When you walk with 
dignity, knowing who you are, self-aware and willingly to grow, trusting the value you bring, the world will mirror all this back to you. Wow. Let me finish up here. I like it so far. When you say no to codependency and e-minishment, live and let live. And practice taking risks as you wander into a new territory for you, Pisces. Cat Spirit rejoices. She is here to urge you to let your independent spirit roam free. This many, I'm sorry, this may be the time you are facing some unpredictable situations, Pisces. Or are you hesitant to take a risk, too cautious to jump into something new because you fear you can't trust yourself? Is this what this is about, Pisces? Let's get it together. We got this. You can do this, Pisces, okay? Cat Spirit is saying, go for it. Wow, and I just said that I'm rooting you on. Here I am, Pisces, rooting you on. And this is literally what the Cat Spirit is saying as well. Cat Spirit is saying, go for it because you will land on your feet. If not, no worries, no reason to worry. Cat Spirit loves to mix it up. I knew that's why I love cats. And this seems upset or upsetting will actually bring you some unexpected opportunities. It always makes sense. Get ready to, or get ready for what you may call jump into something new at a moment or out of the moment, like, you know, unexpectedly, right? Remember, even a temporary failure can lead to a spectacular success. So embrace the adventure. You are sure-footed and can trust yourself. Oh, how cute. Energies and love from the cat spirit. I just love, love, love the readings. I love the cards here. These are new card decks that I just posted in the community tab. I went to get some fresh new energy, see what spirit and diving into nature had to say for you and just diving deep like we do in the water energy for my water babies. Okay, Pisces? So I hope the reading resonated and you enjoyed the reading, my loves. And if so, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, okay? Hit that notification bell, my love, so that way you can be notified again when your readings do upload for you, okay? And remember, Pisces, always, your health is your wealth. I love you, Pisces. Bye-bye.